you know, in an industry that is focused on doing good. Uh, you know, every company that's making a dietary supplement has that mission and that passion. To to receive a philanthropy award is is humbling. Actually, uh, it's. Uh, um, if someone could say, here's a list of awards, choose one that would resonate, uh, certainly for me, and uh, if you talk to the team members at my company, this would be the thing we'd want to be known for. So it's, uh, it's important to us. For, I, in some ways, we're still a little surprised, and uh, you know, telling the team uh, I'm going to receive an award for philanthropy, uh, you know, has uh, certainly a matter of pride uh, and excitement for the team. We uh, we have made uh, giving back to the community, uh, finding ways to uh, to provide service, have a purpose beyond just making a dollar or a product, a really a uh, key part of the value system. It, it provides uh, additional sort of purpose and passion for team members at work uh, and sort of bonds them to the uh, to the job. Uh, and it's been great for business. I mean, we've had a 15% uh, uh, five-year compound annual growth rate during a time when we've given half a million dollars uh, in uh, cause-based uh, donations that related to product sales. Uh, so, uh, you know, the, it's a little cliche, but you really can do well by doing good. Uh, the, the consumers uh, that are attracted to our brand are 18 to 44-year-old uh, adults. It's a little different than a typical dietary supplement that has a bit more of a 50-plus group. And for that consumer group, uh, being authentic, uh, tying to, ch to causes showing you care about things uh, matters a lot and so we uh, uh, we get a sort of brand marketing benefit from this but I think it's probably 75 percent what we're comfortable doing and care about and then the 25 percent of kind of benefit that accrues to the business as a result of those uh, activities. I feel very optimistic about uh, dietary supplements and the broader uh, sort of health and wellness lifestyle uh, area. It is the direction consumers are clearly voting with their dollars. Uh, our, our business, uh, the uh, Alistair Emergency brand, has had uh, a really accelerating growth uh, over the last uh, two-year period. In the, right in the teeth of this uh, financial crisis, we've had some of our absolutely best uh, months and our best two years in our company's history. And uh, it's, it's driven by consumer preferences for finding ways to, to support their health, to, to take proactive, positive steps uh, toward better health. And uh, uh, I think less, they're less drawn to the, uh, the world of uh, pharmaceuticals and those other options. And again, I, I certainly take a few and, uh, and, and don't, uh, don't mind seeing my doctor, but I think there's, uh, there's certainly, uh, we've seen the benefit of, uh, of the, uh, of the dietary supplement industry and how consumers are viewing it. It is a part of the DNA of the company. Yeah. As I arrived uh, six years ago, uh, we became aware of Operation Gratitude, a woman named uh, Carol Blasick who was putting together care packages for troops uh, in uh, Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, we were the first corporate sponsor when she was in her uh, living room with neighbors pa packing boxes. We, uh, we sent product and people and we helped. And uh, she now uh, has taken over the entire Van Nuys uh, Armory. Uh, the uh, you know it's it's spectacular, and they have now uh, sent 655,000 packages to the troops. We've been in every one of them, and uh, have now donated three million packets and some cash and time as well. Um, you know, personally, I'm a complete pacifist. Uh, I feel we have uh, a, a larger responsibility as a result of that. If, if we're putting people in harm's way, then we need to support them. And so uh, some of that is a little personal, uh, you know, and the, the way I sort of view things. But we, we really have a team of people who, who are compassionate and caring and uh, have looked for ways to, to do more with our, uh, our resource and our time. We have created, uh, as you're aware, 
series of cause-based products, uh, the first uh, focused on breast cancer, then clean water causes, then we, uh, we created a donation uh, uh, product with Whole Foods for their planet uh, microloans, uh, and now uh, it, it took some years to get the right product together, but we're now supporting uh, Vitamin Angels and uh, 25 cents from every one of our uh, kids' products. We're launching a line of three new uh, items uh, that all of the, uh, the, you know, in this case, 25 cents on each box we sell, we will, uh, we will pay to, uh, to support the health of a child. So we, we picked, this is our largest, uh, uh, you know, we've had 20 cent uh, contributions on the first two products. We went to 25 cents because Howard let us know that that 25 cents is the amount that really changes a child's life uh, in a year. And so we have... Uh, you know, we basically treated it as a marketing expense uh, and justify it with some nice PR, uh, and we do get uh, recognition. This provides some recognition. We would do it if no one ever heard of it. We uh, we would make sure we did it because it just is a way that we can um, create products that do you know do the things we promise in terms of the nutrition boost, but that has some other way it contributes or or adds value. So it's back to the initial statement. It it feeds the the passion of the team for what they're doing and uh, uh, allows us to set an example as a leadership team of the company to our staff to, to put their energy and time into helping other people. Mm-hmm.